Hey, what's up, guys? This is sneaker.edu. I'm bringing you a quick invite if you're size 12 and up. Find us on Facebook. Find the group 12 and up. Um, just for shoe trading, news, anything, you know, just a community of, of people that, you know, bigger feet. <laughs> All right, so let's get to it here. This is a House of Hoops exclusive in depth sales slash retail video. And I want to talk about something that I picked up yesterday. These are the Nike Zoom Rookie House of Hoops only, exclusive. There were set to be 666 pairs of these, but there's a rumor going out that there's only 500 pairs in the world. And you know here's a pair that you can get for yourself let's uh let's get into the shoe like if you don't know any history about this shoe right here let me uh introduce you to some this was designed by mark dolce hopefully i'm saying his name right or dolce this is inspired this shoe is inspired by three shoes that penny hardaway wore in his first two years of the nba his rookie season those are the Ergo LWP, which this shoe is aesthetically overall designed. Also, the Air Up. And finally, the Air Flight 1, which you get these very bold spheres, as described by Mark Dol Dolce. Also, you get them on the outer sole. And I'll get to the outer sole now. But um, this shoe is really really nice it's very very futuristic they they combine all three shoes in order to create one new signature shoe for the penny line one cent what makes this shoe rare is it's limit it's just very limited can't even talk right now they used Penny Hardaway's favorite material, which is the foam posit, and then you have this new buck here, which feels really, really nice. It also has a, a booty inside to kind of lock you in. If you notice, you have the the one logo that the uh, Air Flight ones had in the back of the shoe, uh, but that's the logo that they're using here for this for the right shoe. Now the laces on these are really crazy. I love the laces on these. Um, at first when I saw the shoe I wasn't sold on it and then I saw like real pictures of it and I saw the laces and the laces are black with this spotted orange this just very very nice touch they could have just gone black they could have just gone orange but it's a very beautiful touch here on the tongue we have the one cent logo that was later developed or designed for Penny Hardaway when he was in the Nike brand we have the very iconic Nike logo on the shoes of that era. Um, they try to use materials and logos and designs that were based in that time to create the shoe. We have one of the most impressive outsoles that everybody seems to like, and that's the uh, transparent, translucent. I really like these because they're like a uh, gray blue tint. It's not like that super blue tint. I'm not a big fan of that super blue tint. I think it takes away from the design of the shoe. Uh, very, very, very futuristic looking shoe. Very beautiful shoe. It's got the matte with the candy finish. We got the outsole here. My favorite part about this outsole is the, the depth in between the carbon fiber shank plate and the actual rubber outsole. Here we have on the uh, inner and on the outer we have the um, flight one spheres you know this is where they got those to incorporate here from inspiration got the one cent logo right through this it's a really nice touch I mean this is a very solid shoe of course it has air zoom technology in it for some nice cushioning now the shoe when it was first debuted it was for a tournament that Penny Hardaway was having and it came out in all red and uh, 
according to him, it was a very solid shoe. It fit him just like he wanted to, very snug. Um, I've actually tried the Binary Blues on, and they fit true to size to me. I'm a size 12, and they fit, fit amazing and felt great. If you notice here, um, see if we can get a close-up of this, if it focuses incorrectly. If you notice here, you can kind of not tell that well. It's orange mixed with white weave, like it's braided in, some white and orange is braided in here. But yeah, what sets the shoe apart is, you know, this orange tongue. Let's look at the left shoe here. Just, you know, the only difference is the, the insole. You have the, uh, the flight one, I believe it says. No, it says rookie. It says rookie in there. So, rookie and on the left and the number one logo on the right shoe. Now here's a, before I go, I just kind of want to go and show you the shoe a little more. Here's the inside. I'm sure you're familiar with the shoe. The glow in the dark's dropped and then these dropped. I mean, this is like having a pair of Jordan Bins. This is like having a pair of the South Beaches. This is like having a pair of the, the Ray Allen 13s. But a little more, a little more rare. <laughs> a lot more rare, actually. If I'm not mistaken, there's at least, you know, 15 to 1,800 pairs of the bin. There's a crap load of South Beaches, and there's a good amount of the Ray Allens. But right here we have 666 pairs only made, um, maybe only 500 released. And I say that because in my house of hoops, they only had about, like, 14 pairs. I was very fortunate to get two. So this is the one that, I, that I'm selling. Don't sleep on these. If you really, really want these, don't sleep on them. All right. Well, thank you very much.